Hello, and welcome to Praying with Broken Hearts, Spirituality for Difficult Times, an online self-paced retreat. I'm Father Joseph, and it's good to be with you. Let's start with two questions. What is spirituality? And what does spirituality have to do with difficult times? So first is spirituality. Is a word in Christianity that encompasses so many different things, it connects a bunch of things, and it's very practical. Spirituality connects the Bible and worship and spiritual disciplines like prayer and fasting and almsgiving, connects it to worship and theology and what does it mean to be human? What's our lived experience like? So spirituality connects all those things together and helps us to live more authentically as a human being, as creatures of a loving God, as disciples of Jesus, as children of God. So what does this have to do with difficult times? See, many people assume that because they experience difficulties in their lives, they experience perhaps spiritual dryness, or they experience anger and sadness or fear or they experience grief, they assume that spirituality is supposed to stop those experiences. They think that, well, because I feel afraid, something must be wrong with me. And the truth is that there is nothing wrong with you. Those are simply part of being human. And being human in Christianity is both a delight, we are beloved children of God, and also just an honest expression of what it means to exist. That we live, we breathe, we have limitations. That's it. So nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with you. So what I'm inviting you to is this retreat of looking at your own experiences around many of these difficult parts of being human finding ways to connect it up with scripture, and finding ways to pray. Because I assume at some point you might experience these things again. And it's good to have those tools and resources to be able to pray, to understand yourself more, to understand what it means for you to be a human being, to be a child of God. So, what might you do to take this retreat effectively? So one is to take your time with it. Please don't rush it. There is no gold medal for turning it in on, on the desk first, when you're, like when you're in school. Take your time. You might watch the video first, let it sort of stir up some ideas, and then you might journal it down and reflect on the questions, or you might take the workbook and peruse it first, and let it sort of percolate in your mind. All sorts of options. I encourage you to get a workbook and also a notebook for yourself, because there's space in here to write, but you might have a lot more to say. Each session is going to have three main questions. So one is, what's your experience been like? What was it like when you were a kid? So for example, the feeling of grief, which we'll cover in session three. Grief, when you were a child, how did you experience it? What was your first experience with grief? How did your family react? What's it like now as an adult? Those are different ways of understanding your own experiences with grief. And then the next question will be, how does this connect with the Bible? I have a couple of biblical stories that might help cast some light on the situation, but you might have some of your own. You might have stories that just pop into your mind when you read the section or watch the video. Use that, use that. Clearly God gave that to you to use. And the third is how you might pray in the midst of it. Having that tool for prayer to turn even a difficult thing into an occasion of prayer is a gift. It can help sustain you. It has sure sustained me in the midst of some difficulties in my life. 
So I can assure you that this whole process comes out of a lot of self-reflection too. I'm not telling you something that I haven't experienced myself in these pages. So if you have your workbook at hand, I'd like you to turn to page four. These are things that I want you to remember throughout the whole course of the retreat and to keep with you long after. Here are a couple of statements that I want you to take to heart. And I'm going to read them aloud to you. You are a human being created in the image of God. You are a child of God. You are a beloved child of God. You are a beloved child of God when you grieve, when you are lonely, when you fail, when you are afraid, when you are sad, when you are angry, when you are in pain, when you are dead, and even when you feel spiritually dead. Nothing in heaven or earth changes this wonderful, true, and holy fact. You are a human being created in the image of God, and you are a beloved child of God. Even in the midst of the difficulties of being human, those statements are absolutely true. They are true for you, they are true for me, they are true for everyone. So, as we enter into this time of retreat together, remember those, hold them close to you. You might even take a chance before you watch the videos or work in the workbook to read those sentences aloud and know that they apply to you. They apply to you absolutely, without question, and they will always be true of you. Thank you for taking this time to reflect on some deep spiritual things. As we make this journey together, if you feel like you need to talk to someone, I encourage you to talk to a spiritual counselor or advisor who is very uh, insightful for you. Perhaps you have a pastor or priest that you would like to talk to, or maybe you have a spiritual director. It's great to talk to them and share with them the experiences in your heart and what you're discovering about your own prayer. If any of these sessions perhaps bring up something a little more close to home, something that's a little more tender in your heart, please feel free to skim over it skip over it, come back to it later. Feel free to talk to a therapist or a psychologist about any experiences that perhaps feel overwhelming for you. Don't hesitate to get the help that works for you because this is some important spiritual reflection time. These are some deep things of the heart that you are courageously saying, I want to explore. So thank you. And I will see you in the next session. See you soon. Bye.